Hi, Libra. Welcome to your reading. My name is Edgar Mendez. I'm so happy you're here. I want to give my love and my thanks and my appreciation for all of you being here. Know you mean the world to me and know how much I care about you. Today, we're going to be doing a reading focused on what are your person's biggest regrets about you, and there will be an extended to this reading as well. If you are interested in getting the extended, you can get it on my Patreon or a one-time purchase on my Moments, okay? So we're going to go for the very first thing is to look at what's the overall energy surrounding the connection itself, the overall energy surrounding the connection. What is the overall energy surrounding the connection with uh, Libra and their person? The overall connect uh, energy, let's see, interesting. What is the overall energy surrounding this connection, please? All right, the first one's going to be the Knight of Teacups, and it's reverse, interesting. Hmm. Uh, we have the Judgment coming through as well. And our last one we have is going to be the Magician, and it's upright. I almost said the reverse, but it is upright, okay. And the overall is going to be the Seven, sorry, <laughs> yeah, the Seven of Teacups, and it's reverse, okay. I feel like you and this person are very much confused as to what is going on here and why everything. I don't know if things are, 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 are huh? what's happening. It will be this card. Um, temptation is reverse. Hmm. I feel here, Libra, you want this person badly. I feel like you, this is someone that you feel you're very compatible with. Someone that you feel like this can actually solve a lot of problems or um, it. He, Sorry, they are exactly who you've been looking for. Someone that fits that bill in every way, shape, or form, checks all the right boxes and checks all the right... Um, they have, like, the right opinions. They have the right viewpoints. Uh, they, just, they have the right energy. They just Your conversations are amazing. But there seems to be... There could be a third party in the mix. Um, but I don't know. I do feel, though, you are wondering, but the Seven of Cups is reverse, why isn't this working? Another message I'm getting is you may have chosen this person very early on, and this person is very reluctant to choose you. Why that's the case, I'm I'm not sure yet. Um, maybe that's a regret of theirs, but I can tell that you made your decision when it came to them very quickly, and they were very they are very slow to it, or they may never get there. All right. With the judgment being here, uh, what's currently happening in your connection is both of you and this person are waking up, right? Um, uh, you're waking up in a big way. With the judgment coming through, that's that horn. It kind of reminds me of Archangel. Sorry, uh, Archangel. I, uh, either Shamiel. I think it's Shamiel. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm pretty sure it is Shamiel. Archangel Shamiel. I think so. I'm going to leave it like that. It could be Gabriel, but I wonder. And I, I think it's Archangel Shamiel with the horn. Um, it feels like it's your time. It's your calling. Um, I know that it's like the craziest thing. You meet someone and you have this, like, you know, beautiful connection. And, uh, huh. I mean, it's not all that it seems, I guess. I feel like there's a lot of growth that's happening within you and in them, um, and that wake-up call has been given. Um, and I really do want to say that with that judgment, that wake-up call, I feel like you and this person may have um, uh, really, really woke up. Uh, one thing that I understood when I woke up was I was not making the right choices or I was making choices that led to less when I wanted my choices to lead to more. I, I don't know what you're seeing about your choices, your life, and your own trajectory that this wake-up call is going to shift, right? It's going to help you uh, pick better. But whatever that is, you're going to start to pick better and move in a different direction. Um, because you met this person, Libra, you won't end up at the same direct sorry at the same destination as you um uh, uh, you won't end up at the same destination as you would have if you'd never met them and that's a fact most people we meet in our life they don't make a dent in us right they don't make a difference in our life um it's like we meet them and it it doesn't really matter right this is someone that you've met and vice versa where it truly matters and they change everything everything about who you are and everything about where you're going and i feel like that's the overall energy surrounding the connection with the magician being the last card here and the knight of teacups being the first but i want to focus on the magician being the last um you're going to manifest differently both you and this person are manifesting a different path for yourself a different direction for yourself and one that is more in alignment with abundance, right? Um, with harmony, right? with bliss, fulfillment. Um, it, that's the direction that this connection has moved you in. Um, a lot of times we tend to think that it's necessarily with them. It can be, um, uh, but we can get this without them because they've helped give us that perspective shift um, and they've helped move us out of stuff that we were st struggling with. One thing that I've noticed just throughout my experience um, 
you know, your spiritual connections, they help you see things you're missing. And I feel like this person has been that for you um, and vice versa. All right. Uh, what's here? Um, sorry, we have the temptation reverse. Interesting. I know it's a crazy thing, but for any of you that have been suffering with from addictions, I feel like this person uh, coming into your life has helped you um, kick any addictive habits or addictive uh, or addictions that you may have had um, uh, down. I, I want to say not down uh, down the drain. I think is a good way to put it um, because they've helped you aspire for more. One of the biggest reasons that people, I, at least that you know personally, when I was addicted, I was bored out of my mind. Um, I mean, it was just what else was there to do? Um, I feel like this person has given you indirectly right a different path or expansion for you to do so you can you can uh i, I huh, you will inevitably kick this uh whatever addictive habit you currently have or have had in the past all right the seven of teacups is reversed here hmm. kind of a clarifier we have the king of teacups interesting some of you this person may have chosen someone else but not necessarily the case all right um they may have chosen um, they could have, they could be the one who chose an addiction. I feel like you are the one who's going to choose the better one, right? The better path, uh, the one more in alignment with your greatest good and highest potential, right? I think that's it. Sorry, uh, we have judgment coming through again. Hmm. Look up. Um, you may want to incorporate mantras into your life uh -huh, or prayers. Uh -huh. That was an important one. I know it's crazy, um, but that's going to help you out more than you can imagine. I do mantras every single day. Um, they're one of the few things that help bring me back into um, alignment. Um, whenever I'm struggling to stay in alignment, I feel like that's going to be helpful for you, Libra, um, or even a guided meditation or even a meditating period. These are the kind of things that can help bring you into alignment and help you rise above whatever you're trying to rise above. All right. So let's switch gears now. I want to know what are this person's current feelings for you? So can you tell me what are this person's current feelings for Libra? What are this person's current feelings for Libra this day? What are this person's current feelings for Libra? The Libra viewers. Let's see. What are this person's current feelings for Libra today? Okay, let's take a look here. All right. So the first card we have is this one. It's going to be the two have hedgehogs in its reverse. Okay. Interesting. So like the two hedgehogs, the two pentacles reverse is lack of change. Um... But it could, this person's emotional body or their feelings for you can go up and down. I feel like I would be in its upright, but hmm, let me see. We'll get the rest, right? Uh, we have the King of Spears, right? The King of Swords re uh, reversed. We have the Page of Teacups in its upright. We have the Ace of Hedgehogs, the Ace of Pentacles in its upright as well. And we have two cards coming out. We have the Queen of Hedgehogs in its re reversed. And then it came out with the Moon... Okay. Hmm. Bound's going to be the six of teacups. This person feels like there is uh, a spiritual connection or a past life connection that exists between you and this person. Um, one that transcends time and space and something that this person knows is very profound for their life. It's going to be this one. Let's see. We have the, sorry, the queen of spears in its reverse. And I feel like this person feels like they met you too soon or they met you at not the right time. No such thing as the right person, wrong time. That's not true, right? Everything happens at exactly when it's supposed to and exactly how it means to happen as well. Not that we don't have free will, but it, it happened exactly when it's supposed to. But I feel like this person has some of that energy or some of that belief in them that feels like they met you too soon or they weren't in the right place when they met you or they could they had no chance in hell to make the right choices. It, it was Everything's happened for the greatest good of all. And I feel like this person's a little reluctant to embrace that, believe that, or even feel that, even though that is absolutely the truth. Um, with the um, King of Spears in its reverse, I can feel like this person, uh, I feel like this person is having trouble gaining clarity. Um, they're in the blame game. I want to say they're blaming their mama, they're blaming their exes, uh, they're blaming their life, they're blaming, I don't know, the, uh, the uh, sorry, the... Huh. Um, I even want to say blaming the president, right? This is someone who's just blaming, blaming, blaming rather than actually taking accountability. How they feel about you is wrapped up in this in some way, shape, or form. Um, the love for you is there, but they're imbalanced, all right? With the uh, Ace of Hedgehogs here and the Queen of Pentacles, hmm, I have like the craziest message for you. Because I feel you're independent, because I feel like you had, you, you were trying to get your stuff together, they felt like they had no room in their life. No, sorry. They felt like they had no, 
there was no need of them in your life. Does that make sense? Sorry. Um, it's like this person I feel goals, like when it comes to giving their love out, they look for where they can, like a niche, right? What could I do that they need so that I can uh, fill in that blank and know that they, well, for one, they need me. Two, they won't leave me, right? I feel like this person has some of this energy where they wanted to fit some kind of niche for you um, or fit some kind of... Um, some empty space in your life and it feels like your life may have been too full for them or they weren't able to, to, to see how they could benefit your life. I know I, this, I swear it feels like this could be a blind spot for them, but who knows? Um, but this person, I feel their approach to love is to look for a niche or to look for that need and fill it in so that they can, uh, it, they, it makes them feel secure um, in that, right? Because they're needed or they feel they're needed and they're able to let their guard down a little bit more. Uh, with the moon coming out as well, this person has a lot of fears about how they feel about you. Um, one of this person's biggest fears is that they've lost the one that they wanted, right? Or the one that they want to be with. It's at the back of their mind or in their subconscious. Um, but I feel like this person's, uh, this energy, this feels like it's just a shadow, shadow, a shadow aspect of them. Um, this, this, this need to try to fill in, where can I bring balance to their life? How could I make their life better? It's that it's, it's, it, this is something that they naturally do. Um, I feel like they, they even may have been conditioned to do from the earliest years in their life to fill in that gap, fill in that need. All right. Sorry, that's, that's, that's an odd message, but I had to give it anyway. Um, let's grab now. What are this person's biggest regrets? So what are this person's biggest regrets, please, for um, Libra? Sorry, I was like, what sign am I on? I'm on Libra. I've done, I've done quite a bit of readings. Anyway, what what is this person's biggest regret right now for Libra, the Libra viewers? Okay. The first one we have is going to be the nine of teacups. The, the nine of cups is that wish fulfillment. We have the king of hedgehogs. Interesting. Um, this is crazy, but I feel like this person's biggest regret is to... Um, hmm. It's like they were lapping up all the energy of your connection. Uh, they were soaking it up. Uh, they, were, they weren't using it per se, but um, it kind of feels like they were celebrating before they got the girl or got the boy kind of thing. I hope that makes sense. They were, um, they assumed that it was, I don't know. Uh, huh. Sorry. Uh, how do I phrase this to you? It, it's, it's almost like this person, um, just, uh, made a lot of assumptions about where this connection was headed without actually, um, steering it in the right direction without making choices, conscious choices that led them in that direction. They just kind of, they were there for the ride, but they weren't there to steer it in any way, shape or form or put any energy in it or even put the work in. And it feels like one of their biggest regrets is to not put the work in your connection and, uh, whatever has happened, happened. All right. We have the eight of spears, the eight of swords coming through. Hmm. Um, let's see. We also have the four of teacups coming through and then it came out with the six of spears. This is going to be the six of swords, but it's going to be the four of spears in its reverse. Uh, I also feel like this person, Libra, has a habit of avoiding things and avoiding the uncomfortable stuff that you don't want to face. But I don't think that's that. I think this is the f this is it. I think this is extra. Um, this person was lapping up all the energy, um, all the love that you were giving out. Um, whatever you're putting down, they were picking up. It really does feel like that. And um, it, it feels like this person uh, it was a bit of a glutton if you ask me, or someone that was uh, was uh, a little lazy towards your connection and lazy towards you. And um, it's interesting. I feel like part of the reason was is that this is their normal game. I hope that means that they always look for a need. And since you didn't have one, they just thought, they just assumed, uh, or since they didn't think you had one, they assumed that they should just lap up everything you were giving. I feel like you may have felt this person was taking advantage of you, or you may have felt this person was underappreciating you. I actually feel... That wasn't their intention, but it was there nonetheless, all right? Um, with the four of teacups being here and the six of spears, hmm. Um, one thing I can see here, uh, a Libra, I feel like when you may have... Um, when you may have been hoping for an offer or hoping for this person to make things more real with you, it never quite transpired that way. And I feel like this person pretended like it... Like it um, uh, I don't know, maybe like you were crazy or like they didn't even know where you were coming from. All right. I think like that. Sorry. Just at the, the, 
Okay. Um. When, yeah, I'm gonna leave it just like that for you. Anyway, let's behind here. We have the seven of spears, the seven of swords. Hmm. It came out with the Hierophant in its reverse. Interesting. Um, a lot of these, this person was very hard to uh, tie down. And what I mean by that is to get them to commit. All right. Um, it, it may have been very difficult to get this person to commit or make you an offer. Some of these may not have ever got it. Um, and this, it's just, uh, huh. that wasn't going to change. The reason for this is this makes them feel safe and they were never going to have that with you. Um, you fill in the own bl your own blanks. I feel like you have a, you, I feel like you love yourself. I'm going to be honest with you. All right. So let's look. Um, let's get channel messages from Libra's person. What does Libra's person want to say to Libra this day? All right, so we have two coming through. I'm right where you left me, the six of spears, and it's reversed. Or sorry, or sorry, upright. Um, this person, um, they haven't really uh, processed a lot of things. They haven't worked through a lot of things, and I feel like they haven't healed anywhere near as much as you have. This person, though, is waiting for you. Yeah, they're waiting for you to come back in. They're waiting for you to make them an offer. Or they're waiting for you to open up that door again. Um, their love for you is real. Um, uh, I feel like this person waits. They wait for that opening. They wait for that need. They wait for that, um, I don't know. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know how to phrase that. Uh, they were waiting um, to see where they fit in your life before they offered you that cup. Was that a mistake? Of course it was. But this person had a limiting belief or they were conditioned to always wait for that opening or wait for that need to, before they start opening themselves up emotionally. We have the um, the magician coming out. Do you believe in magic? This person sees you as magical. It sees connection as magical. They do want to manifest it as well. All right? It's this one. Um, I shouldn't have doubted my intuition. I feel like this person um, knew that they had uh, that you and them could, you know, could work or there were feelings here. They never acted on that or they always held themselves back and uh, uh, um, it is something that they regret and we have, I didn't see what was right in front of me. It is there. This is, there's some truth here. Um, I feel like this is what they needed to see. Um, but what they weren't necessarily seeing was where they were may, may have been taking advantage of you or I want to say uh, for some of you is abusing your trust or, um, not showing up for you the way that you should have been shown up for, right? Um, they, it's interesting. I feel like they came to this conclusion very quickly. I was meant for you, but they never felt were you meant for them. How about, yeah. Um, they never felt that. And why? It's this one right here. It's this one. This could have come from, I don't know where it comes from, by the way, but it's a big one. It's a big one. This is a, this is a big blind spot for this person. Um, but they, they knew you, uh, they were meant for you, but they didn't think that you were meant for them. And why? Let's see. Let's make sure it's not there anyway. But yeah, um, <laughs> um, because of that. All right. So I'm gonna leave it there, Libra. I'm going to take this over to the extended. If you're interested in getting the extended, you can check it out in the comment or description section. I want to thank you. Give my love, my thanks, my appreciation. Um, for being here and take care. Bye Libra.